Welcome back to Making Adventure. I'm Stephanie. Today we're in our messy garage again because I'm finishing up the backsplash for our tiny house kitchen. The one piece I've already made is going to go right here and this skinny area. I've still got to get, make this big area, that whole area, and it's a mess. This right here, all that. So we're going to hopefully get all of that done today. I have amassed a large amount of uh, aluminum tiles that I've cut on the bandsaw and don't ask me how long this took because it was a very 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 long time but for right now I want to take this off of the plastic sheet it's on right now um, and I'm really kind of kind of worried about it because if you can see right here right here and right here are all places where it might break because because it's um, one uninterrupted line across. See, like, like here, at least there's a, another piece that makes it not a whole straight line, but that's what I'm worried about. So I'm just going to give it a go and see what happens. Be real careful. And I'll, uh, I'll take the edging off after. Oh, there we go. The moment of truth. Ha ha! And I didn't break in half. This is great. It's a great day. Yeah, I'm definitely not using tape again. That, that was a poop. That was a poopy idea. And I think I'm gonna have to change this plastic because it got a little bit like scuffed and dirty. Oh, I'm, I'm sure actually that it'll bond better to the epoxy now that it's all gross. I really like how this turned out. This is, I think this is going to look really good when it's done. This is my first sneak peek at it too, so I'm super excited. Something I did notice, every single little crease and wrinkle in the plastic is going to give you a crease and wrinkle on the back side of, of the, um, the piece. So I'm going to try to figure out how to smooth this out perfectly. Um, I tried last time with tape and I thought, oh, that's good enough, but it turns out it wasn't really. So I want as smooth of a surface as possible on the back side of the piece so that it'll have good adhesion to the wall. Also something that I didn't do first last time that I meant to, I was going to put this um, curtain fabric stuff as a backer. Okay, I am just going to put the cloth down. Like, like that. This popsicle stick is like just as tall as the cup, so I'm trying to, you know. All right, so last time uh, when I did the smaller piece, um, I realized there's a small lip on all of these pieces from the bandsaw, um, and it kind of caused a little bit of problems. So I'm going to try to sand all of those off first before I use these pieces. And I really don't have any idea how many pieces I'm going to need, so I'm just going to do a bit. I'll do more if I need more. Okay, now that I've got some of the edges ground off of these pieces, I'm going to start arranging them like the other one. So I'm just going to get started. I'm gonna do pink first. What I really like about West Systems Epoxy is one pump. So you get one pump of that resin and one pump of this hardener, and then that's the right mixture. You don't have to measure or weigh or anything. You just have to count. As long as you don't get distracted mid count, you'll be okay. So I'm just gonna stir the mess out of this thing. And you can always tell if it's stirred all the way by if these ribbons go away. You can see different consistencies in there. Once all that goes away and it's perfectly clear, then you know it's mixed. And it's 
white and coppery bronze. All right, I'm just gonna pour it in the, the squares that it goes in. And so I'm mixing white for the three by three squares. When you're mixing this, it's really important to get all of the sides and to scrape the bottom really well. So you wanna make sure that every single drop of that uh, hardener is mixed in with every single drop of that resin. I've got a, a flat bottomed stirrer that does a really good job of scraping the bottom. All right, one last square. All right, now I probably should have worn gloves for this. Um, my hands are sticky and sparkly and I'm gonna go clean up. Kimi and I kind of unanimously decided that after all, we kind of like it better without the fleck. So there's with the fleck and there's without the fleck. And also I did notice I did use a whole lot less one by one square this time. And I, I like it, I like it. Who knows, I might end up redoing this piece. We'll see, we will see. About one little detail right there with the diamond instead of a square. I guess it's still a square, but it's on its side, so it's a diamond. It is like 11.30. I am tired. The camera is about to die. The microphone is about to die. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. Let me try to see if I can readjust the camera without getting epoxy all over everything. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Special thanks to our patrons who make all of this possible. If you want to tag along for the adventure and see when we ever finally figure out how to put these things in our kitchen, <laughs> give us a subscribe. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And we will see you guys next time.